Hey guys, this is City Skylines here and I want to talk about the Loading Screen Mod Revisited. I am very excited to get into this. Ever since the Airports DLC released, it broke the original Loading Screen Mod, which was a heartbreak. We got a interim version, but it was interim only. It was not getting new development. Chameleon and Algernon took the code for Loading Screen Mod and made it to where it works with Harmony and that makes this future proof. Why? I don't know. It's programming. They assured me. I trust them. I believe them. You want to know more? Find them on Discord and say, hey, why is it future? And they'll say, oh, because it uses Harmony. And then you go, oh, okay, well, why didn't Dean say that? Never mind. Anyway, let's talk about the features here on the actual asset reports here. If you need to find these on Windows, then you go to your user directory into the app data folder. It's normally hidden, so you may have to make your folders all visible, not just the regular ones, but hidden folders visible. Then you go into your user directory, app data, local, colossal order, city skylines, and then report. And then you see these. They're in the same place that they were before. It'll show you assets that failed to load, no surprise, but then asset errors like, wait, what? Yeah, now we see which assets have invalid elements LOD textures, invalid LOD meshes, and so forth. These are not going to actually kill your game per se, but if you're having performance issues, these are the likely suspects. If you scroll over part of your map and suddenly, wow, things really slowed down, look for assets that are in this list and maybe you want to remove them. If I scroll down out of asset errors into asset warnings, I can see ones that warn on very large LOD mesh and very large LOD texture. If they only have one and you've got a good system, you can bear with it. But then this American Towers condos, I got to ask what is going on with it why is it loading so many textures do I really need this asset I didn't ask that question before I got this new loading screen mod now I have information where I can ask it and make a decision so I'm really excited that I have this so I can help keep my game in tune as I play it we scroll down some more we see whether or not assets are missing duplicate asset names this is all as before then we get the following custom assets are used in this city as well as the ones that are not used this is all standard loading screen mod stuff i love it especially for troubleshooting a game i like having a clean list so that's why this one loads clean but if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we're going to see the loading stats if you didn't know about this before it's a really cool feature when the loading screen mod is running right before it finishes sometimes there's a jump in memory and you go wait what what was that and then the game is loaded you don't know well if you look at the loading stats at the bottom this is that final page that tells you how much memory you used, how much time it took to load everything, and something that's not on the screen is the section that says sharing of custom asset resources. This is the mod you want to save memory. Even if you have lots of memory, you want to run this mod. If you have very little RAM and you're thinking, oh, I can't possibly run any mods or assets from the workshop because I'll just run out of space. Stop, don't panic. This is the mod you want because you can see how many times it's shared textures, materials, and meshes. Instead of loading them repeatedly in memory, it's loaded them one time and shared them across the system. You'll also see something that says skipped prefabs. There's a capability within this product that will allow you to skip prefabs or DLC elements there. It's got some really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at what it is in the game. So let's go here. I've got some city skylines. I'm going to go to options. I've got loading screen mod revisited point four right here. Choose a game language. I can say to load enabled assets or load use assets or both. By default, you want both. If you're loading a really old save and you don't know what's in there, maybe you just want to load used assets. If you're trying to troubleshoot, maybe you'll only want to load enabled assets. I've also selected sharing textures, materials, and meshes. I really like doing that because it saves RAM. Optimize thumbnails, why not? Save some more RAM. I don't have any prefabs to skip, but if I did, I could go into my user directory, app data, local, colossal order, city skylines, and then I find the skipped prefabs for or backslash skip.txt. I, again, I don't have this directory, but if I did, I could skip things in there. And if you go to the loading screen mod page on the workshop, scroll down, they have a documentation point on prefab skipping. Click that link and it'll talk more about it. Uh, I'll just say it, it, it basically means you're going to skip over DLC content, vanilla content, things that you may not want to load in your game. You could do that this way. 
really like that. If you have to load in safe mode, something crash and you're really concerned, you can get rid of vehicles and citizens and try to recover from simulation errors. This is a wonderful thing to have here. We go to reporting. This is where I can set up my directory. If I ever forget it, I could load the game, check options, reporting, and then I find, oh, here it is. It's in my app data local colossal order city skylines report loading screen mod directory. That's nice. I do check assets for errors. If I clear that, it won't show that information that is new for this mod. But it, 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 if I click it, then well, it will show it, and I do, so there we are. I can even also select a new background image for loading. That's sweet. So let's take a look at the actual loading of a game with loading screen mod. Here we go. All right, first thing we notice is that it is different from the original loading screen mod layout. The stats are on the side. Instead of memory usage being two numbers and you always have to ask, wait, what, what, what number is which? We now have four numbers and each one is identified. I get how much RAM my game is using, how much RAM my page file is being used in this game, and then overall system utilization. So if I've got other applications open, it's reporting the total impact on my RAM and my page file. So if you are running low on memory and you're going, I thought having 16 gig was enough, why do I keep running out? If you look at your system RAM use and it's already starting, let's say, at 14 gig before you launch the game, maybe you need to close some applications. You could find out what applications are using how much memory if you go to your task manager in Windows, and that'll allow you to see how much RAM each of your different programs is using. You just sort by memory usage and close the ones that are the biggest, except, of course, for City Skylines. <laughs> Oh, wow. As I was talking, all the custom assets loaded. Whoa, at 149 per second. That's awesome. I will say that it was a little slow the first load, but on the second load, everything went liggity split, just like now. A minute 11, and I've got 22, 23 assets loaded. I'm using 27 gig, 27 on my page file. I'm looking all right, and it shows all my scenes and assets that loaded. If I had any errors, it would have thrown them out here. But again, I load a clean game. I'm good. There's always this little bit of a lag at the end here with this hourglass showing. Eh, I live with it. I know what's happening. This is, oh, here we go, 143. That was the last moment, and now I've got my game loaded. It's that simple. So, loading screen mod. It helps everything go faster, helps everything go cleaner. It helps everything do everything. I love loading screen mod revisited. I hope you get into it, I hope you find it, and use it to make your game run much better and much more efficiently. For Cities Timelines, I'm Dean Webb, and I am happy to give my enthusiastic support to Chameleon and Algernon for their fantastic loading screen mod revisited. Check it out and enjoy it. Bye-bye.